Hi there, and welcome to the Smart Bee Controller's how-to video series. Today we'll be focusing on the Smart Strip 4 and the Stinger Smart Plug and some of their key features. The how-to video series should not be considered a replacement to our Getting Started guide, so be sure to download and read it through so you're already familiar with our devices before proceeding with these videos. We'll also cover how to install them in your garden, link it up to the Smart Bee Controller's app, and some suggested uses to deliver you peace of mind for greater and more consistent yields in your networked garden. While the Stinger Smart Plug and the Smart Strip 4 have much the look and feel of your average outlet or power strip, it should be noted that we've added some additional functionality. For example, each of the Smart Strip 4's outlets are able to be independently controlled, and you'll notice on the outside shell four LEDs that indicate a plug is active. The Stinger Smart Plug works in much the same way with a single LED to also show the state of the circuit and network connection status. In the event of an overload, each circuit has an auto shutoff, which will attempt to disable the circuit when the average current is outside of the device's specifications. The Smart Plug and SS4 will attempt to shut the device down, send you an email notification of the action, and allow you those precious extra minutes to respond immediately and diagnose any problems within your facility. Likewise, with active power consumption monitoring, the SS4 allows a total of 15 amps across all four outlets, so the current monitoring ensures you're not overloading the device. Nearly any third-party grow room appliance, such as dehumidifiers, humidifiers, and irrigation pumps can be plugged in and remotely or automatically activated based on your pre-programmed threshold set points. And considering placement within your garden, you'll obviously want to localize in proximity to the devices you want to use. As well, the Stinger Smart Plug and SS4 also act as range extenders up to 100 feet through walls for your other Smart B sensors, such as our LTH, LTH and CO2, and water content sensor module, which makes it ideal for large-scale gardening facilities. The base plate of the Stinger Smart Plug and Smart Strip 4 both come equipped with mounting holes. However, for wall mounting, we suggest using drywall anchors. Once your devices are mounted and you've decided which appliances you'd like to automate, setting up the Stinger Smart Plug and SS4 within your Smart B app has been boiled down to a simple and intuitive process. Smart B controllers products are designed to automatically search out a hive, so after logging into your Smart Bee app on your computer or mobile device, navigate to the Settings dropdown and select Permit Join, and then proceed to your Device Manager. You should see the Stinger Smart Plug or the four plugs from your Smart Strip 4 listed under Unassigned Devices. Again, it's important to note that each individual circuit on an SS4 can be assigned and controlled independently. Each circuit appears as its own device in the Device Manager. From the drop-down menus in the Device Manager, you can assign a Stinger Smart Plug or SS4's individual outlet to a specific room or zone. Likewise, under the Appliance Type drop-down menu, you'll assign each circuit to a specific function to be controlled. We should note that all circuits of the same appliance type in the same room will be controlled as a group as they respond to your set points. Additionally, we recommend labeling your plugs on the unit, and you also have the option of changing the user-facing name in the app to correspond to their respective device or location. To demonstrate a typical device setup, let's say you're looking to automate this humidifier in your garden. After plugging your Smart Strip 4 into a standard 110 outlet, you then plug your humidifier into plug number 1 and navigate to the device manager on your app. Assigning plug number 1 to the desired room, you'll select Humidifier from the Appliance Type drop-down menu. Then navigating to the Humidity Controls page will allow you to set your threshold sliders for day or night. Your humidifier will work in conjunction with your LTH sensor, and the Smart Strip 4 will automatically engage plug number one to bring the humidity of your room within the desired range. Likewise, you can manually engage your appliance by moving the slider in your app to the on position and power it down by moving the slider to off. A couple of things to remember. When plugged into a Stinger Smart Plug or SS4, some devices can be controlled by simply turning off and restoring power. These are the devices you'll want to deploy in your room. In those cases, your appliances should be left in the on position to be switched on and off by your Stinger Smart Plug or SS4. Some digitally powered devices or appliances that do not automatically power up when power is restored are not intended for use with our system. As well, after manually powering or shutting down your analog device, you'll want the app to take over automation of your appliance, so remember to move the slider back to the auto position. As you can see, you have a lot of benefits to enjoy with your Smart B controllers SS1 or SS4, including notifications, extended range of your devices, and automating appliances to work exactly when you want them to. And with that we say, welcome to the networked garden, and thanks for watching our how-to video about the Stinger Smart Plug and SS4. If you have additional questions, log on to www.smartbeatcontrollers.com forward slash support. We'll see you next time.